Hi, I'm Catherine from Taste of Home. Today I'm making Dutch oven bread. There are few things more satisfying than a crusty loaf of bread. And this recipe has all of the flavor and texture of an artisan bakery bread, but without all the kneading. The secret is in the Dutch oven. The ingredients are so simple. All-purpose flour, yeast, salt, and water. Salt is necessary to give the bread flavor. Without it, your bread is gonna taste kind of flat. You'll notice there's a pretty high water content in this compared to a standard sandwich loaf. This extra hydration will create random larger holes that will really give a desirable open crumb structure. After mixing the ingredients, I'm just gonna cover it up and let it rest. No kneading. You heard that right, no kneading. So how do we get away without kneading this dough? We know that kneading will develop a nice strong gluten structure that will keep our bread from collapsing in the oven. But there are proteins and enzymes in the flour that if left alone for seven or eight hours, even overnight, are gonna work together and create that gluten structure on their own, completely hands off. Now remember, this dough is pretty wet, so I'm going to flour my surface, but I'm also going to flour my hands to help me coax that dough out of the bowl and onto my surface. Just using my hands and a bench scraper, I'm going to move the dough around on the counter to create some surface tension on the top of that loaf. That's gonna give us a nicely formed loaf that will keep its shape when it hits that hot Dutch oven. I'm going to score the top with either a serrated knife or a bread lom, and this will give our loaf a directed place to expand. Preheating the Dutch oven with the lid on will ensure that it is really hot. So then, when we add our dough, steam will be created in that small, hot environment, and that's what's gonna give us our optimal crispy crust. After 30 minutes in the oven, the steam has done its job, so now it's time to uncover it. You'll see that the crust has expanded and there are crispy bits along the top. We're gonna to continue baking uncovered until we have a deep golden brown crackly crust. This Dutch oven bread could not be easier, even for novice bakers. And don't be afraid to make it your own. I love to add cinnamon and raisin and walnuts, or cranberry and orange zest and pecans. So if you've been too afraid to try yeast breads, this is your starter recipe. Remember, it's no kneading, and the results are beautiful. <laughs>